Hello, I'm Rifa. Welcome to the series English Part of Speech. This class is part of the series created by Faculty of Humanities, Bina Nusantara University, to help you understand the part of speech for improving your written and spoken communication. In this video 9 video session, we will discuss about how to make a good questions in English and practice it into your sentence. After watching this video, I hope that you understand kinds of English questions and you can practice them into your communications in day to day. All right, let's start the lesson. Understanding question. So we have the question structure to make you easy to make or to produce the questions in English. The first, we have questions word or question phrases. Just like who, how, where, when, what, why, how long, how often. So these are the question word or the question phrases. And after that, we put the auxiliary or helping verb and model auxiliary verb. We have be, have, do, can, will, should. And after that, you put the subject. I, you, we, they, she, he, it. And the last, you close with the main verb. With any kind of verbs, of course. Just like the example. Where do you live where do you live so just take a look you have where as a question word you put the do as the auxiliary verb and you have the subject you and of course you have the main verb live where do you live the second example what do you like about it what is a question word? Do auxiliary verb. You is a subject and like is the main verb. How long have you been sitting there? You have a question phrase, how long? You put the auxiliary, have. You have the subject, you. And you have the main verb, been living. Do you live in Jakarta? So just take a look at this question. It doesn't have any question word or question phrases. But it is also question because we can put the auxiliary to be the first position and then go to the subject and close with the main verb. And it can be a question. Do you live in Jakarta? All right, if you, if you still want to know more about questions let's go to the kinds of questions there are two kinds of questions it is closed question with the questions that start with the auxiliary or helping verb it is requires the simple answer only yes or no or sometimes people call it as yes no question or it is called closed question and we also have open question what is it question that start with a question word or question phrase or it is well known as wh question of course it requires a long answer so just take a look at the examples to make you understand about closed and open question. The first one, we have a closed question. Do you know about him or do you know him? The answer will be, yes, I do. Can you help me to take that book? Yes, I can. Have you been to Bali? No, I haven't. Are you enjoying the food? Yes, I am. Okay, so are you? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Have you? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. 
do you yes i do no i don't so those are the closed questions you just need to put yes for agree and no for disagree understand i'm sure you understand about it let's go to the open question take a look at these questions and answer where is the best restaurant in this neighborhood it is near the school you can try to go there so we have a complete answer we have a long answer to ask where is the best restaurant in this neighborhood how long does it take to go there it will be around two hours by bus so you have to explain all right what is the weather like currently in indonesia it's quite hot especially in this month so you give explanation what is the best thing about studying there studying in business the best thing is about the internship program for example or international program so you can describe or you can mention many answer as possible okay next we practice about what make the difference between open and closed question it is about the intonation of course just like when we have the closed question it will be up intonation do you like them are you hungry so we put a high intonation or up intonations in the last of the question okay do you understand that plus question and how about the open question so in open questions we have we have down intonation why do you like it what do you want to eat so it should be down all right so you can practice the intonations after these materials well make sure about subject and verb in matching the singular or plural form in questions and answer okay whether it is closed or open questions just like the example for singular form you have does she live in jakarta why we have to put does yes is it because you have the subject she has he read it why we have to put has of course you have subject he where was she living before was because it is she so you have to make sure that the subject and the questions is link or match remember about subject verb agreement all right and then go to the plural form do you live in jakarta because you is always plural so we put do have they read it so the subject is they so they have to put have where were they living before so there is a subject they and then you have to put the were okay got it so sometimes in english we can leave the auxiliary verb just go with the flow about the question just like the example when you want to ask do you want to get something to eat in english sometimes the people just say want to get something to eat or wanna get something to eat so sometimes is used for your daily communications and it is acceptable for oral communications okay so everyone for practicing your understanding about open and closed question make 10 example of asking question five question for open question and five question for closed question you can just go to the descriptions and then you can just comment to pop up your answer i believe you get some informations about questions in english and i hope that you can use it in your daily both in your oral communications or maybe you can just use in written expression don't forget to do the exercise and you can write down the answer and you can go for the discussion in the box below
I wish you have a happy time for learning with me. Thank you for joining my lesson and see you in other videos. Bye for now.